Okay, women, listen up. This one is for you. We are getting ready to talk with author Sharon Lecter, How Money Works for Women. We've all heard women make 82 cents for every dollar earned by a man. But what can women do to up their game and start earning more? Well, I am glad she is with us now. Sharon, welcome to the show. Natalie, thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. So let's dive right in. That's a stat that many of us have heard before, the 82 cents on the dollar. But you say that's actually an improvement from where it used to be. Women are starting to take control more well the 82 cents has been kind of static for almost 20 years but and that's a problem yeah. but when you look at the fact that a lot of women are saying I'm not going to put up with that and they're becoming entrepreneurs so there's been a hundred and fourteen percent increase in women entrepreneurs in that same period but it's really important for people to understand that when we make less we live longer so if we make less that means our Social Security is going to be less so mm -hmm. it's so important for us to take control of our financial lives so that we have the future and the retirement that we want. And of course, when you use the word entrepreneur, my mind goes to you know starting a small business, which is a great example of that. But I think you meet it even in a wider range. Like you see a problem, you are taking control, like it says on the cover of your book here. Uh, take us back though. I think it's fabulous to hear where people's passion came from. And you, you said yourself that you even were around this idea before the glass ceiling term was created. Yeah, it was one of the very first woman hired in public accounting in the Southeast United States. So I was always the only woman in the room. Yeah. In fact, I started with a public accounting firm and I had to wear, you know, pinstripe suits and a little tie. And when I passed my CPA exam, I pulled the hair down out of the bun and wore a skirt to the office and said, I have arrived. So Good for you. We have, you know, women have such an incredible power but we put our head in the sand when it comes to money. We must educate ourselves about money. Well, again, you brought up the example that we live longer. We are seeing the things that we need that money to stretch longer. What are some of those attainable ways? I mean, it sounds good. We're sitting here talking about the mm -hmm. philosophy of it, but taking action. What can women do who are maybe even watching at home right well, now? Well, absolutely. I mean, one of the reasons we wrote How Money Works for Women is to help women address those issues that are emotional, but also financially stressful, like getting your kids ready for college like um, being faced with an, a surprise divorce. Oh my gosh, and realizing you don't have any credit of your own. Mm -hmm. um, losing a spouse. How about having aging parents or having an adult child move back in with you? That happens an awful lot. And so women are the, the center of the household. We tend to take care of everybody else first. Mm -hmm. We have to start taking care of ourselves financially. And that's either by learning how to create assets, my favorite word on earth by the way, assets, Ooh. buy, build, or create income producing assets that work for you. And learn how to make more money, invest it, and let it grow. Because in, in the year 2030, women are gonna control $30 trillion. So with that comes a responsibility to understand how to manage it, how to invest it, and how to have it grow. And that's why my passion has been here for since 1992, helping people find the information, the tools they need to become financially successful. And the problem is we don't teach it in school. You're right. You're absolutely right. Is this something that like so many times I feel like a, you know, a woman could like kind of be introduced and, and I struggle with this. Like when I look at portfolios and investment, sometimes my eyes glaze over. Sometimes I'm, you know, asking more questions perhaps than I maybe should. But is it a step at a time? Is that the best way to approach it? Or what would you tell someone who's like, hey, I've tried and this is over my head or, you know, I've got five other things I need to be doing right now. What do you say? Well, and that's absolutely right, because we, as women, we want to do everything on our yes. own. I can do it. You know, I'm afraid to admit that I need help, right? Well, we live in a world where most everybody needs a little help when it comes to understanding money. So yes. find that financial professional. We talk about how to find a financial pro professional to help you. We talk about the things that you can do. Just figuring out where you are financially, even if the, if the, picture's kind of bleak, mm -hmm. at least you're empowered because you know you've taken the action. Mm -hmm. You know where you are, and then you can chart the course to make an improvement. One step at a time, looking at your credit cards, understanding that it's not the credit card that's the problem, it's the person holding the credit card that's the problem. Chain yourself to understand that with every dollar you have the decision, do I keep this and invest it for my future, or do I spend it? 
And again, just being able to have that independence. If you are in a marriage, say, being able to understand those, I think that's such strong and powerful words. Oh, it's so true, Natalie. So many people end up getting divorced and they realize, or they lose a spouse, and the woman has no credit of her own because yeah, everything yeah. was in her husband's name. Hmm. It's so important. That's why we are dedicated to helping women I take control of their financial lives. Well, I got to tell you, I have enjoyed our time together. Thank you for coming in. We're sharing the cover one more time. Of course, you can go to the website howmoneyworks.com or Sharon, I know you've got your own website as well, SharonLector.com. Thank you again for being here. Oh, what it's a great been my pleasure. Thank you so much.